kingdom to be called to follow the Lord Jesus and take up the cross indeed is a fearful calling. And seeking God's blessing, we want to meditate upon these words as we find them in context this evening. Two weeks ago, when I was last with you in the evening, we looked at the last section of Luke chapter 11, and there we found the Lord Jesus denouncing the scribes and the Pharisees and the lawyers, that's those who deal with the law of God in the time of Christ, and he denounced them in no uncertain terms, and he called them hypocrites. Now, needless to say that no one could do or say what the Lord Jesus did, but Christ alone. There's no gospel minister who could possibly speak to a, a congregation like the way that Christ spoke to his immediate congregation there. He knew them. He knew their profession. He knew their practice. He was able to discern accurately their hypocrisy. He was the Son of God in flesh, and He was there, therefore able to speak absolutely accurately to the situation. There's no other man who could possibly do that. But as He leaves that scene, and as we proceed to chapter 12, where He leaves off speaking to the Pharisees and the scribes and the religious hypocrites of the day, he speaks to his own disciples 